All right, uh, Wednesday, November 18th, I'm Tom Novak. This is your Bring Me the News in Novak Weather, brought to you by Grand Casino of Mille Lacs and Hinkley. Thank you, Grand Casino, for sponsoring this, which is going to be proved to be a, an important weather update. We're going to go from a nice, real warm day tomorrow to the potential for some very interesting and wintry weather as we head into next week. So let's get right to it. This is the visible satellite loop and look you can clearly see our flow is coming straight off the Rocky Mountains now and heading east and northeast into the upper Midwest. This is what we call a zonal flow right now and it allows winds to come off the Rocky Mountains, they sink, they warm up and then uh, they head east and northeast into the upper Midwest. It's called a Chinook wind, and yes, that can bring us nice, warm, unseasonally warm temperatures for this time of the year and in the winter. And that's certainly what we have today and what we will have tomorrow. In fact, take a look at the temperatures. Over the upper Midwest today, look, some portions of southern Minnesota almost made it to 60 degrees. I, I haven't seen a 60 yet. We'll have to see what the final readings are. But yeah, upper 50s, well, 50s for the most part, uh, over the southern third of Minnesota. That includes the Twin Cities Metro. We were in the low 50s there. Of course, cooler up north in northern Minnesota. And like I said, almost 60 degrees near the I-90 corridor. Maybe there might have been one or two locations that actually did hit 60. We'll have to see. As we go through time, now watch what happens to temperatures here overnight tonight. They do cool off, but not nearly as much as the last couple of nights. In fact, look at how the temperatures actually stay in the 40s here in the upper Midwest and in some 30s, of course, in northern Minnesota. But I think areas down near the I-90 corridor and from about the Twin Cities metro on south, I don't think we're going to drop below 40 degrees. In fact, some areas may stay well in the 40s overnight tonight. That's a pretty warm temperature for this time of the year. In fact, that's the average high. The average high should be right around 39, 40 degrees this time of the year. So our average low will be above that reading the way it appears tonight. That means that tomorrow we're going to warm up and the model guidance may be underestimating the warm up here in southern Minnesota. Now this is the rapid refresh guidance and it shows temperatures near 60 degrees along the I-90 corridor in southern Minnesota and temperatures well into the 50s even in the Twin Cities metro. These temps could be a good 3 to 5 degrees uh, lower than where what we actually reach tomorrow. I'm going for a high temperature of 58 tomorrow in the Twin Cities Metro and yes 60 degrees near the I-90 corridor so those temperatures are a good 15 to 20 degrees above the average uh, so another beautiful day tomorrow and less wind than today the way it appears tomorrow and uh, no doubt we're going to start to cool off then as we head into this weekend but not as much as previously anticipated. In fact, take a look at the jet stream winds at 30 to 35,000 feet. Now this is for Friday. You can see our winds are straight west to east. This is again a zonal flow, which is still considered pretty mild, or at least for this time of the year, a mild flow. That flow continues through the weekend. In fact, even as we head into Sunday, yet yeah, winds turn a little bit more northwesterly, but for the most part, it's more zonal west to east. However, Watch what happens as we get into early next week, and this is critical. This is what we call a trough, and this is a major or a very strong trough or a deep trough that develops over the central and northern portions of the United States on Tuesday, okay? And as we go through the day Tuesday, this trough turns negatively. What that means is that it actually starts to, to back and it becomes more of a negative tilt to the trough. If this happens, that's going to, that's a signature or a real good sign for a winter storm development over the upper Midwest. We'll see the, this is the European computer model guidance and it is more aggressive with this negative tilt in the trough for Wednesday or for Tuesday and into early Wednesday. But we need to keep a close eye on this because that again could spell the potential for a winter storm over portions of the upper Midwest. Here are the temperatures in the lower layers of our atmosphere. This is at about 5,000 feet or so in our atmosphere. Look at the nice, beautiful, warm day tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon over the upper Midwest. But as we go through time on Friday and Saturday, some Arctic air tries to intrude into the upper Midwest. But again, that zonal flow should keep us for the most part mild. But then as we get into early next week, 
it appears that Arctic air is going to set up shop over northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin. And as that happens on Monday and into Tuesday, you can see a battle zone starts developing over the upper Midwest. And as we get into Tuesday evening, again, this is the European computer model guidance. It shows a very strong storm system developing on Tuesday over southern and central Minnesota and western Wisconsin. And it appears that we may be just cold enough in the lower layers of our atmosphere to support snow with temperatures at about 5 degrees be below uh, zero Celsius, which is right around the uh, mid to upper 20s Fahrenheit. And again, yes, that would be cold enough to support snow. In fact, that's, this is kind of the area that I'm looking out for as we head towards Tuesday of next week. Now, again, this is a long ways away, so you know, take this map with a grain of salt. But I do expect that portions of Minnesota, eastern South Dakota, northern Iowa, and much of Wisconsin need to keep an eye out for the potential for a winter storm as we get into next week. Uh, confidence right now is really low, but it is a, an important week for travel as we get into the Thanksgiving holiday. So no reason why we shouldn't at least start thinking about that now, even though the storm is still a good five, six days in advance. Extended forecast now from Novak Weather and uh, Bring, Me the New Bring Me the News shows you that. Here's that warm day for tomorrow with temperatures approaching 60 degrees in many areas in Southern Minnesota. And then we have temperatures near or just above normal through the weekend. And then here it is, that temperature will be hovering around the freezing mark as we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week. And yes, right now, I've got my eye square on Tuesday for the potential for some accumulating snow. And it could be shovelable as we head into Tuesday and Tuesday night over the upper Midwest. All right, that's your forecast. I appreciate you joining me. Again, thank you Grand, Grand Casino for sponsoring this. Have a great evening.